G'day my friends, how are you? So we've got the actual Puma now finished. I've built it all up, but now I'm going to be adding a whole heap of little details to it. So you can see here I've added some rolls, so canvas rolls, and I've put some little helmets on it. I've also done it with this one here. They've come up pretty good. Instead of using the normal Millie putt, I got this super fine stuff and it's so much better. Get this stuff if you want to build those things. Um, it's stuck together so much better and I was able to roll these things so much easier and get a uh, so much better uh, roll than the normal Millie putt. You know that sort of red one with the red writing? It's come up really good. So I'll add some more rolls and I've sort of just wrapped them up with just some 0.3 mil wire. And what I'm thinking now, on the other side, is I might wrap up another one with some um, so sort of poles in the middle, so tent poles, and then have some um, sort of shovels and that sort of tied into it as well. And I'm going to add some ammunition boxes just back there as well. I don't think I'll add too much at the rear here. I'll keep that sort of it's empty but just sort of build it up. I've also built one of the um, the cans here, the 44 gallon drums or whatever you call them, 200 litre drums. They look pretty decent. And just with sanding and all that kind of stuff, they come up really good. See, you can really hard to see any joins there. So they do join together really good and you can just sort of sand them and with your glue, get rid of those, um, not your glue, your uh, acetone mix you can really get rid of those lines they're really cool and now I'm gonna make a little bucket and you get a little photo etch thing to go with it I think there's a photo etch there yeah, there it is right there right there but I've also got some other old photo etch stuff so I'm gonna use some of these old uh, tires and stuff like that to tie up some more of the uh, bed rolls and stuff I'm gonna make up canvas rolls but yeah she does she looks really good and these um what do you call them they're 3d printed muzzle brakes they look really good there's another one with that's got the cover on it and that looks really good I, I, I was very tempted to put that on but I wanted to not have the the cover on it but that does look really good doesn't it and we'll start to get it taped up and we'll start to get it painted. I've also got the wheels sorted, so I'll show you those wheels quickly. So here are the wheels. I've got them painted up. Well, just base painted, you know what I mean? So they've got their base coats on. And of course they need, you know, some weathering and all that to bring out the details. But they look really good, don't they? Quite nicely detailed and really nice, really easy to build as well. So I, I just really don't reckon you need those um, ones that you get, so the 3D printed ones that they sell for really expensive with the sort of sag in it, I really don't think you need it. But if that's what you're after, that's what you're after. But they do charge a lot for it. Alright, I'll keep cracking on and we'll try and get this all accessorised. We'll get it accessorized and I'll show you how I'm going. I love putting accessories on it. But these rifle kits are amazing. Like, they're really easy to build and the quality of the plastic, the plastic is really tough. Like, um, you see at the rear here, I started to dig out some of this exhaust, you know, with uh, my hobby knife. So you just get a hobby knife, you sort of start digging it out and shaping it to add damage and it was so hard to carve the plastic off usually it's really easy but this was so difficult and these things you knock them and stuff and they don't break it's just the plastic they use is very strong extremely strong i really do like these bright field kits and i think i'll get some more of them in the future all right rightio so we've got the painting started so i'm just gonna do a camo pattern so it's tritonal camo pattern and um, I'm going to be using blue tack because I reckon blue tack is the best way to do the camo. Um, I've seen that 
camo stuff you can get, you know, that's sort of like blue tack or whatever, but it's nothing compared to blue tack. Blue tack's really good, it sticks well, uh, it's, it's very shapeable. Um, you can get into it and shape it and do all kinds of stuff. I just, I've tried all kinds of different things and blue tack works the best. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you which colors I'm using. So the first one I did, so the first color is German dark brown and I used SMS. Then I've highlighted it with US pale brown, which is pretty good. Then I'll come along and this color here, this second color that I've laid down. So I laid down the brown and then I chose the shapes that I wanted, made the little shapes out of blue tack, and then I sprayed it with green. So I've used SMS's German Olive with this as the highlight. So this German Yellow Green. This German Yellow Green is really handy. I really use it a lot for highlighting um, green stuff. It's really handy for that. And then the final color will be um, German Sand Yellow. And I'll probably use German Beige and I'll get some lighter browns as well to highlight that. So that's the plan there. So always give it 24 hours to dry, so every level, so it does take a couple days to do. Camoing well isn't easy, as they say, but um, this one's ready to start with the blue tacking, and once it's done, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll take it off and we'll see what the camo pattern comes out like. But what I found is you want it chaotic, but you want it balanced, so you want balanced chaos. You want it sort of, you know, get it even amounts on each side and that, but you don't want it the exact same. All right, my friends, let's see how it comes out. So now we have the yellow sprayed on, the dark yellow, and just have to now remove all the masking gently, which is going to be difficult, but not, you know, impossible, and we'll see what it comes up like. But for this, I used SMS again. I used German sand yellow. Then I browned it out down a little bit with US Desert Sand and then I really highlighted it with Sand Girl. Some more really good colours. But let's see what this looks like when we pull the masking off. Alright, so now we've got all the masking removed and that's the camo pattern so far. It's going to look really cool. That's all right, so it's come up pretty good. That's how you want it. And now the next step is to get the uh, paintbrush out and start acrylic painting up the details. It'll look heaps better when we can do some, you know, paint up these jerry cans and we'll paint up a lot of the details of the tools and stuff. And that breaks up the camo pattern more. Yeah, it looks all right. Also add an oil filter to it sort of darken it up just a little bit but that's come up all right so thanks for watching my video and the next one will be uh, doing the next step in the painting process all right my friends I'll speak to you again soon